the cost of the passport is two hundred dollars. We're looking at adult, and this is a ten-year passport. So this is equivalent to twenty dollars per year. When we look at a driver's license, we're looking at sixty dollars per year. So that we have a state-of-the-art passport. Additionally, we've subscribed to uh, IKO PKD, which ensures that any country that we travel to with our passport that is also a member of this group, via their system, they can immediately know that your passport is authentic, no questions asked in terms of the authenticity of the document, and we can do the same for travelers, let's say, from Canada and U.S. coming into Belize. So we have added security. Additionally, the passport is a national document representing our flora, flora fauna, tourism, architecture, bridges, industry, and it's a modern travel document. So it's, it literally works out to $20 uh, per year for the 10 years. And finally, I uh, have some numbers here. Grenada, their e-passport is equivalent to Belize dollars, 210. USA, 260 Belize dollars. Barbados, which is the lowest, I must note, 150 Belize dollars. Uh, Mexico, a year ago, they sent us a copy of their document with the specification. Their e-passport is equivalent to 384 Belize dollars. And Panama, their document is equal to 200 Belize dollars. However, that is only for five years while ours is for 10 years. So just wanted to uh, reiterate that specific note there. People are saying that we're taking advantage of the customers. And I must note that with these new prices, we're only looking at break, breaking even. And Honorable Eamon Courtney had already noted from October when the e-passport was introduced, that the decision of cabinet was to allow the old prices of the old passport, which was a 17-year-old document, to remain at least for 2022. I recall him stating that. Uh, the ministry is of the position that it is time for us to charge to implement these new fees so that we could at least break even in terms of covering the cost of this new modern travel document. And this is the mandate of the Ministry of Immigration, both in the Haitian issue and in the new passport. We are managing migration for the national security and socioeconomic development of Belize.